Hey everybody, welcome back to Chai Bella. Today I want to just quickly cover the proper way to pin curl. I come across a lot of clients that ask me how do I pin curl because they have what we call fish tail or fish hooks and when the little wings after you finish pin curling you wake up in the morning and the curls is going in an opposite direction. So with that being said, what you really want to do, a lot of people make the error by winding the curl and what they'll do is they'll take it and they'll start twirling it like this so or they take it and they you know work it around both ends however it is you're taking it and you're winding it up too much and then you'll try to pin curl it really tight and then clip it to the head so well, what you're doing with that is you're actually recreating and fighting against the curl pattern that's already set from the style what you really want to do with pin curl made easy, you just want to respect the curl pattern that's already there. And all you're doing is following it. Now, she wears her hair more for body. And with the curls that, the amount of curls that we put in, will actually make her hair curlier. So when by saying that, the more pin curls you make, the curlier the hair is. The bigger chunks just creates body. So she has... a. In between so she gets body on top of a good amount of curls so the way I curled her hair as you see she has enough to give both so she's a happy it's like a happy medium so all you do is you want to take the hair in a cluster and you want to smooth it out and then you want to grab it midway and just squeeze the curl and then pin it so you notice I did not take my fingers and wind anything. I just squeezed. And then you place the barbie pin across the curl base. Okay, so I'm going to do this again. Now you do this. If you continue to do this, it doesn't have to be perfect. But as you do it, It'll not only it'll give you curls pretty much up to about a week and a half to two weeks. Every night, you're actually eliminating a lot of flyaways and you're eliminating a lot of split ends or potential split ends. And also, too, you're saving your hairstyle and avoiding any heat damage that you can put onto your hair if you are one to like to use the flat iron and keep your hair curly. Of that without the proper heat protectant and too frequent of hair um, flat iron on your hair will definitely scorch the hair on your natural oils will also cook on top of the hair and that can cause heat damage as well again just take it gather the hair together grab it midway and you see her curl pattern is really down here guys so let me see if you can bring it even closer. Try to work this too. See the curl patterns down here? All you want to do is squeeze that just the way and let it fall the way it is. And I'm just bringing it up a little bit so it's off her neck because you can't pin curl directly on the skin. So I'm just bringing it up. As you can see, it's, here it is. And I'm just bringing it up a little bit. But I'm not recreating the curl. I am following the curl pattern. Our clients are so kind enough to allow me to do these tutorials, so I just respect their privacy. Squeeze or press up against, swirl it just a little bit, and just lift it up so you can have a, something to grip the pin to. Place it gently on the hair, and all you have to do is just pin the actual base of the curl. I mean, the actual curl. The base is actually... Um, at the scalp that's like the proper terminology and just keep doing it until the hair is clumped or clustered really nicely so you get a uniform curl
So when you start to do like that and it's not quite clear, all you do is take it until you get a nice neat swirl. And just follow where it goes. And the thing about it is, is that from the scalp to where the hair starts to actually curl, it's smooth. So I'm keeping the hair smooth. See, if you notice that her hair doesn't start curling until the bottom part. So I don't want to create curls up here that's not going to be technically wasn't there to begin with. So that way her hair will still be nice and smooth at the roots and her curls will still be at the bottom. Notice it. All I'm doing is pressing it. And now I'm just picking up whatever curl she has there, laying it neatly across. So that way I can just have something to help hold her pin curl when I go to use the barbie pin. Because as explained, you can't pin curl the, the hair on their skin. And this one right here, I would just take one. So I'll bring it down nice and neat. And until you get some uniform curl pattern. See, you're not going to recreate it. Just keep seeing. If it you got two that's going different directions, then you just split it up. Because obviously... That one doesn't go in the same direction as that one I wanted. And they'll tell you, if you cluster it up, it will make it very clear what curl does what. Again, guys, my client's hair holds up to almost two weeks. And see this one here? All I'm doing is taking the curl, pick it up, take it. Squeeze it and just bring it up so it can have a place I can pin it. Turn it around. Now, I always like to work from the bottom up for the most part because I'm pinning the hair in style or in this in the style because if I work on top it may not be easy for me to get to the roots as the way I would like or lay the hair down get way you know get rid of flyaways Get the main pieces in first, guys, and then you can go back in and tack down any additional loose curls if you feel you want it tighter. Just hold it. And you see what it does. See how neat it gets? Squeeze it. And that's it. I'm just, you see, as I'm bringing it up, I'm tightening the root a little bit, laying it down. But I did not change the diameter of her curl all the all redirected and some of you might say oh well will the bobby pins leave marks on the curl pattern no it won't some of y'all if y'all have access to the bigger ones is even better because those don't really have any of the the um ridge there's some of the bobby pins is kind of a little rigid in the middle that for someone who has maybe like soft, soft, soft hair, no matter what you put on it, you're going to have some type of indentation. I would just recommend that you take the hair out um, a little, probably like 
20, 30 minutes before you actually, you know, are getting getting dressed and set yourself for the day. That way some of the natural curls or that indentation will start to drop off as it starts to pull away from your natural body heat. Because that's what kind of set it at night is your natural body heat. Especially for those who sweat. It's kind of like wetting and resetting their hair. But for the most part, no. See, now you see me just going in and just securing some of the hair that's pulled away from the scalp so she can have a nice, firm pin curl. And that's all you do, guys. Just res just follow your curl pattern. Don't respect recreate it. it. Like I said, right, respect the curls. And, it will, and you'll appreciate your curl pattern. And it gets better and better just to be able to have, because as to the three or four days, the hair starts to become really, really nice and full. And that body is just amazing. All right, guys. So this is Chai Bella Natural Hair Boutique. We're located in Bowie. Our phone number is 301-464-0100. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.